Hey everyone, it's Sandy Carter and thanks for joining me today. I am going to show you a page that I made here. Um, this was a page that I made of a picture from high school. Um, I actually really loved the way this page turned out because of all the bright colors. It originally started off as a page where I wanted to stick to grays, blacks, whites, and then just that, that bluish green color in the background. So I'm just pulling a bunch of supplies here. Um, I actually pulled out some of my Project Life cards. These are from the Midnight Edition. And I flipped through some of them. I just wanted to have something that I could actually use for journaling. Because I knew that I wanted to journal about what was on the picture. Um, so I'm done flipping through those. I didn't pull any of the 4x6 cards at all. But this Mambi sheet is actually a Michaels paper pad. Um, I think I got it on sale one time. But I really liked it because it had like a chalkboard theme to it, but it also had bright colors added into it. So I thought that was fun. It kind of reminded me of a, a my mind's eye um, paper line that they had recently. Now I'm fiddling around with this transparency. I didn't end up using the transparency. It's a, it's a cute little floral background, but I just couldn't work it into my layout. It really wasn't the style that I wanted to go with. Um, but right now I'm cutting out the grid paper. That grid paper came from the paper pack. I really liked it though because it kind of uh, was a little bit lighter on some parts and darker on the others. So I thought that was pretty cute. Um, now I'm just sitting here trying to figure out what I want to do with this page. I had kind of an idea from a sketch. Um, but I didn't really know exactly how I wanted to lay it out. And since it was a car, I, I was almost thinking about doing a, like a car theme with like, you know highway signs and different stuff like that but I actually couldn't find my little chipboard pieces that had that in it so I just left that off. Um, I am cutting out the chevron piece right here because I figured chevrons look like a tire track and I'm trying to arrange it. Now this page starts off a little I don't know it's not really cute looking. <laughs> um, it turns for the better in just a few moments here. Um, I actually when I make my scrapbook pages, I don't pay attention much to what exactly um, I'm doing with it. I just kind of like go with the flow. And sometimes if I feel like it's just not working out, I'll walk away. I'll like turn off the camera. I'll leave the room and, and you'll be surprised what you come up with when you're not sitting at the table. So I'll use my ruler to tear that, that chevron paper. And I actually, on my the, the page sketch that I had, it had a vertical column kind of like that and it had the picture along with a bunch of embellishments kind of centered in the middle but a little bit kind of it was not really all that fitting to what I wanted to do with this actual picture here um, you'll see me pull in a polka dot piece of it was a project life card from Heidi Swap I didn't use that either but I just kind of grab stuff around my desk sometimes without really overthinking it because if I overthink it my pages turn out really weird looking I don't know why but um, if I'm just kinda having fun with it then I enjoy what I make from the pages um, that little gold star has been trying to make it out of page for the past like three pages that I've made I was laughing so hard because I'm like this is such a cute gold star I never end up using it for some weird reason um, that is good. Now, that paper lace is such good quality. I love it. I recommend it to anyone that wants to buy some of the new Joann's Heidi Swap. Now, I did try out the sticker foil letters. I'll be honest with you, I'm not 100% impressed. I think I'd be more impressed with her mink machine that she has because the the gold foil letters or words that I actually got the other day, I find it was almost like a waste of money because when I went to go use the foiling, the foiling never really went on evenly. And then when you go to lift the letter off, it like leaves little wrinkles in the in the word. So I'll show you what I mean by that in, the, in another video. I, I recorded a little review for it. So, But they are really great. The sticker words that she has with the new line, they're really great with the... Um, the glitter, like if you just want to put glitter on it, it holds the glitter very well. I actually did that for most of them in my review. Um, but I just tore a little bit on the side. See, I just turned the chevrons horizontal and it looks great. I like it. Um, with those paper lace things, they're not very large. They're probably, what, I don't know, five by seven maybe. So I just trimmed it down the middle and I set it 
on both sides of the photo cluster and it made it look like it was a larger piece which I love doing that because I don't always like to waste a lot of paper especially during layering. Now the wild and free line I actually got that line a while ago and I cut it up made it kind of project lifestyle. Um, I like it because <laughs> I ended up using pieces from the front cover so whenever you buy a paper pad there's always those really cute little uh, just strips of image for the actual pages that are available in the kit and what I do is I just chop it up with my paper cutter you'll see me looking through them right now I chop it up with my paper cutter and then I save them for layering so it looks like you use the paper but in reality it's just the slice of the front cover I think that's I wouldn't say genius but I think it's a really good idea especially to get the most out of your paper pads so I'm sliding in this really cute paper that looks almost like it's been watercolored, like a kind of like a sunset. And taking away the rest of those stickers. I wanted to use the, the feather, but it really wasn't fitting my style that I wanted to go with. Again, I wanted to keep it fun, but also kind of like teenage. Because I was only, what, 16 in this picture? And this picture is really fun. It was a great day. We actually had followed a whole group of people down to, I believe it was Tacoma, um, there was a car show. She had been invited by her senior project mentor because she, for her senior project, when I say she, Christina, the girl in the picture with me, her car was her senior project. She completely redid the whole thing. She put body kit on there and then the whole carbon fiber hood and this really awesome fiberglass, um, subwoofer in her trunk. I mean, it was just professional looking. Um, but we had so much fun with it. <laughs> I loved cruising in her car. I always felt like I was like the coolest kid in town. Um, she did have the nicest car in school for sure, but that is her car. And we were in that little, she was in like a little car show for it. So it happened to be a really nice day and we just, we had a good time. That's one of my favorite memories. We used to go cruising all the time. That was back when gas wasn't that expensive, so we'd be like, five bucks, and that'd be our whole weekend, <laughs> driving all over the place. Now, now I'm working with these thickers that I got from Tuesday morning. I love just mute-colored, just plain thickers. I, don't, I love the colorful ones, but I like these plain ones because you can color them with your Copics. And I just grabbed an and, a, like a word and. Um, I grabbed that. It was from my stash. I actually cut a bunch of those a while back for my silhouette. And I just save them, stick them in a pile, and when I need to use the word and, I just pull from it. It's very convenient. Now you're going to see me, I wanted to do like a really cute little like a surrounding cluster of stuff, but um, changed my mind. I decided to do a little spray. That was some color shine by Heidi Swap. Um, that color shine was in the color pink. That's funny. Uh, yeah, so pink. And then I used the gold. And I used teal. And then for the, the dilutions, I used a color by the dilution ink was vibrant turquoise. Those are the four sprays that I played around with. Oh, and then there is a white that I'm going to come in here and splatter with. I tried to spray the white, but it's actually a Tim Holtz uh, Perfect Pearls Mist, and it just jammed up really bad, so it wasn't spraying at all. So I just kind of splatted that around. And that one was just like a plain old white per pearl colored. Um, and now, I didn't dry any of this. I just kind of started sticking stuff on there. It was pretty dry. I didn't really need to do much to it. But I stuck that down and realized once I was putting the photo mat down that that would have made my page so f way too far low. Like way too far down. Um, so I fixed that. And those are those paper lace pieces. Now it was funny because I was... I wanted to glue the paper lace, but I, I was going to just staple it. But that tiny attacher by Tim Holtz is so small. It like doesn't really have a very big neck. So I'm hoping in the future that they come out with one with a long neck so I can get to those other parts of my pages that I like to staple. So here I am adjusting the photos. Well, the photo. 
And that script paper is actually from a my, my mind's eye. It was like a lost and found script. On the back side of it, there are blue stripes. I, I apologize, I don't know the name. It was just a, a chunk of paper that I had left over. Now here I am matting my photo. I love to mat my photos in black because it makes it pop out more, especially in this background with quite a few different layers. And I'm just using this foam tape. Now I'm hoping that that foam tape was acid free. I don't want to look back at my album 10 years from now and realize that my tape is showing through, but I'm hoping that that black paper will help keep that from happening. So I just added that down and I'm adding a double layer of the foam tape on this arrow. I do that when I want to create a, a higher level on my page. Um, I do that with my, my, um, my pop dots as well. I just double them up. Since I put the foam tape on the picture, I wanted that this, look at this, to stand out higher. I realized I forgot to put the hearts on behind the photo, but that's okay, I didn't really miss it. Now I was thinking about coloring the letters in a really cute pinkish red color. That color is Crimson RV29 by Copix. I changed my mind though because I wanted to put the and in that color. So for the words I colored them in the Y13 lemon yellow from the Copic markers. It turned out cute because it was like it, it gave it a little bit more excitement in the title. Usually I'm using really bright colors or or glittered letters or something, so it's nice to kind of spruce up the letter a little bit. Since this was a little bit of a um, brighter page than the usual. You'll see one of my other videos I'm going to put out soon. It's actually a really cute one. It's with my niece, and it says Starbucks Lover, and I use these same letters. I just didn't color them, so you'll see what that looks like. These little stickers I'm sticking on there are from Mrs. Grossman. I got them from Lasting Memories years ago. Um, I loved that scrapbook store, but it went out of business a while ago. I met Mrs. Grossman. She was such a sweet little old lady. Oh my goodness. And it was so cool to hear why she the way they started their sticker company. And this white gel pen is the Signo, um, Uniball Signo white gel pen. And I'm using it to just kind of add little accents. And then I'm using my Feud Ball Ranger um, ballpoint pen to do my journaling. So... In my journaling, I just talk about, you know, yes, this was Christina's car, and she was, like, the coolest girl in school. <laughs> I personally thought she was really awesome. She was full of confidence, beautiful. She was actually a really sweet girl, which surprised me at first because she was so pretty. Um, but, yeah, it was so much fun. This is a really cute page. I love how it turned out. Um, if you guys liked it, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I will be giving away the um, the kits from the haul. Coming up here on Thursday is when I'm going to release the video that says who won the from the comments. So if you want to win a cute little Project Life haul, just go and check out the other video. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of other videos coming through. I'm trying to get some pictures together for Project Life. I do find that it's a little harder for me to do Project Life sometimes because I'm a stay-at-home mom. I don't do a lot during the week other than stay home with the baby. So I am trying to gather up some old photos so I can do some Project Life for you guys. But again, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for joining me.